what's up guys my name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you episode number two of the base visit series and if you want to be featured in these videos all of stuff is in the description on how to be featured in it but I'm not going to waste too much time as the last video took me 24 hours to upload so that was frustrating so anyway let's just get straight into it six bases to review in this episode so first off here we have in legit legion that is legit clashings channel I mean, not channel, clan, almost forgot his name there. And starting off, we have a Town Hall 10 here. And his base is looking solid at the moment. Everything is looking good. Those Inferno Towers maxed, ex Expos maxed, um, Air Defense is maxed, Wizard Towers maxed, Archer Towers almost maxed, Cannons almost maxed. What much can I critique on this base except... Those Dark Elixir drills there, um, they are level 3, 4, 4, so I'd say max those out, they are the best way of getting Dark Elixir of course, when, if you're a lazy farmer like me, so yeah just max those Dark Elixir drills, they're much better to get level 6 and then you're done with them forever, and yeah so it, what else is there to say, walls I'd say level 8, I just get those level 8 ones out the way, get them to level 9 as you can see, Lego walls look a lot nicer than the level 8 ones and a lot stronger as well take three wall breakers of level 5 to destroy your walls I think that is for level 9 so that will come in handy a lot I, I would say and again your another thing your heroes level 16 and your queen is level 18 so I'd say that is quite low for a town or 10 but you of course have plenty of time to work those up and get them to at least level 25 each which is a best town which is I think in my eyes minimum for Town Hall 10 at least 50 hero, level 50 combined that is for me for Town Hall 10 but other than that your air sweepers in brilliant positions protecting one side of that base and the other one protecting the other side of that base so one as well you're upgrading them so that is brilliant as well get those at least to levels 5 level 5 I think is a minimum as well level when when you can like take a break with those but other than that your base is looking solid at the moment and let's just take a look at your troops now and everything is like obvious troops is maxed every troop is maxed except those valkyries and i can understand why as they're pretty much useless valkyries against like once you have dragons and in clan castle they're just useless valkyries and i can see you're not the biggest war 115 war stars one you haven't really got the spoils of war achievement yet but you are in legit legion and i've been there and they are doing wars so i'm assuming you're starting to war with them so of course i think you're going to be i think you're one of the highest there i, I think so just start practicing there get those heroes up at least level 20 and then maybe opt in for the walls so you'll be much stronger again those dark dark spells upgrade those especially the poison spell get that maxed out even even the earthquakes they they are quite good in i think for town or tens they work once you have a lot of practice with them so your gold grab is amazing 700 million grabbed for gold and 700 over 700 million for elixir as well so and then over 2 million for Dark Elixir, so that, so that is really well done there, and yep, yeah, awesome base Eric, and just keep upgrading your heroes, that's for my priority, and for your Golden Elixir, keep upgrading those walls. So for next one here we have, alright, so, oh, why does it do that, so next one here we have someone from Bay Clan, that is my clan here, Bay Clan, and it is this show off here, Jan. And yeah, look at that base. It looks amazing. The level 11 walls, they eh? looking solid, and have all the level 10 walls. So, this is your real idol as a town or 10 to keep those defenses low, like the not priority ones. So, like archer towers and the cannons, keep those level 11 away from like level 13 and level 12. But what he's doing here is not following my advice. But yeah, so max ADs, that's awesome. All their Max Infernos, amazing. Centralized Clan Castle as well, great farming base. Very difficult to lure, I think, if that's a base, if that's a defense. Yes, it is. Max Expos, I think I just said that. But there's not much to critique on this base, honestly. Like, everything is right about this base, except that. So you're going to have to start getting that out of level 1, Jan. That's the only thing I can really critique on this base. The other one is yeah level 5 of course it's, so yeah it's, it's just brilliant your king level 23 and your queen's going to level 34 I think you're getting that to max I think that's what I'm thinking but 
again so looking at your troops now everything is max except or well, quite a lot of things actually giants you're not the biggest farmer i don't f actually you know let me just see oh god okay you are a big farmer over one billion loot gold grabbed and same with elixir all right take back what i just said there again just to make your profile look better when you have a spare elixir just actually no you have to upgrade those walls i don't even know what to say everything i'm saying i can con contradict myself and make just just upgrade those troops make your profile look better with all like the fire things except especially the valkyries level zero one looks quite weak but you don't use them in war and i understand why and again so just next thing lightning spell again you don't need to up well you could upgrade it to make your profile look better but they don't you don't use them at all in wars so again so just a dear here's something i don't can cannot contradict myself on poison spells i just say upgrade that to at least level three and yeah so next thing what else is it again your war stars looking good your dark elixir grab is amazing as well and yeah so just keep upgrading those walls jans and keep showing off your base all right so next one here we have from pain angels is uh where's that there and free velocity x gosh this video's taking long i don't want it oh god all right so let's just take a look at the defenses ignore the base so you've got max wizard towers that's brilliant max mortars where's it in oh, this is so hard to it's like where's wally all right inferno towers are there max inferno towers as well that's awesome Air defenses, I'd say max those out as well before you start. Max, actually, you maxed out your cannons. All right, just max out those air defenses. Those are a real priority as well. And I looked at your base like five minutes ago. You never had this up, so you're active as well. And yeah, so not much I can say. The walls are looking awesome. Just get those to level ten when you have a free gold because you've once those air defenses done, I'd say then you can start upgrading those walls and getting them to level ten. So dark drills again maxed out. Everything is almost maxed out. Air sweepers can't really say anything about the positioning, but yeah, again you're upgrading it. You know why you have to because level two isn't that strong. So looking at your troops now. Oh yeah, your heroes are amazing as well. Level thirty king, level twenty five queen. That's brilliant combination of them. Again, your golems, your main war troops. As looks like you're a warrior, I think. Yeah, you're legible for next one three hours. So you are a warrior. So yep, golems maxed, lava hounds maxed, peckers maxed, wall breakers maxed, all those strong troops maxed, so that's great. And what else is there? Gold grab I'd say Mac well I don't know how how hmm. Um, I don't want to say Gemma, but maybe I don't know, or you use your collectors a lot, but ignoring that I just say get those achievements, get those free gems and you'll be awesome. So, yeah, nice base, free velocity, and, yeah, keep up the good work there. So, next one here we have Matty from Unbound Rage. He is a YouTuber as well. Um, where is he? Matty. Again, so, oh, God, another town or ten. <laughs> is this, like, a town or ten one or something? Gosh. All right, so, yep, your base as well. Another one. Every Town Hall 10 we've had so far is solid. I like it. Um, max Inferno Towers, that's awesome. Your walls are looking good, except down here. Just get those level 8 ones to level 9. That'll be awesome, and that'll be much better. Um, what else is there to say? Dark Elixir Drills there. Three of them there. That's good. Max level as well. That's brilliant. Easy way to get Dark Elixir. Um, again, I don't know how to critique on these max on these max bases which everything looks great on again your cannons and archer towers keep them level 11 to keep you lower down in the walls as i know you are a inner town or 10 clan i think full town or 10 clan as i saw from your last video so just keep those and keep upgrading those heroes as well so again looking at your troops now level five golems again the best war troop um yeah you've got a great balance of everything except goblins which useless and again everything I, I don't know how to critique this is a very easy episode for me I, I like critiquing and trying to give constructive criticism but there's no need to what's it what's that pun um let's uh, leave it all right so 
gold grab over 300 million gold over 400 million elixir grab that's brilliant war stars are looking solid so close for that spoils of war achievement there that's great almost i don't need about 300,000 i think one more war and you've got it unless you fail both attacks dark elixir grab is looking great as well and yeah just upgrade those dark elixir spell spells and yeah and just focus on your walls and keep those expos level three of course so next one here we have emily she is a youtuber uh, she's a youtuber as well and what clan was it again um red gladiators her channel is clash clashing beast machine and is another town or ten and this one is a bit more for me to critique on a bit so emil i j emily i just say get those walls to level eight first and then focus on level nine because the earth walls for level seven they are quite low for a town or ten in fact very low for a town or ten so just get those up a bit because you'll your war base i think i don't know where it is but it will need to there what's it called you'll need to upgrade those walls because they attract a lot of top bases that will want to freestyle your base in walls inferno towers looking good one level two one level one i don't think you've been level i don't think you've been town or 10 for too long but yeah so expos level two level two level one i'd say keep them at that while you upgrade your walls and your other stuff and i like this little smiley face here i don't know if that was intentional but i i i know smiley face but anyways on topic dark elixir drills level five level four level five i'd say max the dark elixir drills out that will help you a lot again look at all brilliant war troops i'd say you might as well max those war troops out and you'll be a solid i think sort of town hall 9.8 because you got inferno towers but again upgrade this last air defense to level seven and Try and make yourself look like a town or nine with solid town or ten troops. But again, so upgrade those heroes as well to level one kings there, level fifteen. Get him to level twenty and the queen level twelve. I say first get it to fifteen and then aim for both of them to go to level twenty each. But other than that, just get more of these kind of walls all around your base. For primarily these level eight walls and then focus on getting level 9 walls but stop upgrading defenses don't upgrade defenses and please go away this sign and that's yeah please say i can check her bait oh this sucks all right okay let me just try talk to them more while it disappears um there's the things for doing long videos and um, what else is there to talk about let's just look at your troops from what you've trained up so we've got max lava hounds here that's brilliant uh, max balloons max minions Barbarians, great, uh, level 5, get those wall breakers max as well, they'll help a lot when you attack town or tens, and this sign is not going away, so just to stop making the video even longer than it is, I'm just going to pause the video and then get back to you when the sign disappears. Instantly once at this, once I've paused the video it disappeared, so quickly let's look at your troops, and gosh, I, I remember you're an air attacker, but honestly get those golems level, get, get that golem leveled up because they are very vital for wars as well and i think you're in a war clan as well red level four war clan so yeah just get those up again your gold grab get those get that first achievement farm a lot more than you are at the moment i know you're pushing to champion i think that is but try farm a bit more and get those walls up because that's your that's from my advice that's your primary aim but anyways just keep up the good work and just take my advice emil and you'll be awesome okay and for final one where is it let me just get my paper um where is it last one we have is from drop dead gamers and it's the ultimate king there we go okay so ah finally we haven't got a town or 10 <laughs> so town or seven here the baby one out of everyone and yep so let's just have a look at your base so town or seven with pink walls i'd say max those walls out before you even think about going to town hall eight that's your that's what you'll need to do your barbarian king i know when i was town hall seven it was the hardest thing ever to get that king up to get the king up and yeah so get that oh go away all right king get that king level five before you even think about and yeah you, you i know you think it looks like a new town hall seven but upgrade those air defenses to level five each they're the best for when you're in wars and of course those army camps i hate well, I hate army camps when they're not maxed out, but 
I think your new Town Hall 7, so get those army camps maxed out so you won't have to think about them when you go Town Hall 8 at all, as, they're the same, as they are the same when you go Town Hall 8. S we put in a beautiful position, upgrade it, I think you can upgrade it, I don't know, but I've, I can't remember Town Hall 7. You, you do get the Dark Elixir draw at Town Hall 7, that wasn't a feature I got, so upgrade that, I think you can upgrade it to level 2, I think that is, so just upgrade that when you have the loot, and just so that you can get easy dark elixir to upgrade that king but other than that I can't say much except upgrade your walls upgrade the air defenses and then upgrade your base in general so your spell wise I think you got a new spell at town hall 7 I think that was a rage spell so it's really hard to say stuff to new town hall levels because they are new isn't it so I know you aren't a war it doesn't look like it level 1 clan and 95 war stars 1 but of course, just upgrade those troops in case you do decide to start doing more wars. And yeah, so what much is there to say now? Um, upgrade the dragon, they're the best war troop at Town Hall 7. I used to love them so much. And just upgrade the rage spell and hog riders as well to level 2. But Town Hall 7 isn't too much hard work, so I think I bet you'll get that done. And your gold grabbing elixir as a Town Hall 7, I think that's quite good. And your dark elixir grab heist is actually good quite good I think 20,000 yeah that's not bad for a new Town Hall 7 I think but yeah just keep working at it and you'll be a great Town Hall 7 in the future if you take my advice and anyway guys that's gonna wrap it up for this episode it was a long one and I know this is gonna take more than 24 hours to upload but that's the lengths I'll go for you guys so anyway guys that's it from me hope you enjoyed and after this about 18 minute video peace